Bookcha really like surprise released a whole gourmand collection. Obviously, immediately I was like, I need to buy all of these because all the notes sounded delicious. But then I was like, Anna, calm down. You're going to buy the sample discovery kit and maybe one full size as a blind buy. I did buy caramel brew because I've been craving coffee scents, especially for the fall. I'm going to kind of go over my initial thoughts on these. I obviously haven't worn them for too long. I just got them in the mail this afternoon. So this is, I would still consider it a first impressions, even though I have smelled them a few times now. So the first one is vanilla gelato. This one to me would be a full size worthy bottle. This one, musky vanilla, but also a little bit of caramel. And it just, it's, it's like the perfect balance between clean and gourmand to me. It kind of reminds me of like waffle cone with some caramel vanilla musk. That's what I get. I think it's really good. I think this one is, I don't think it's like a, I think out of all of them, this is probably one of the most safe blind buy ones you could get. This next one is called Nectar Whirl. I, I don't like it at all. Don't even want to spray this on myself. I'm going to spray it on something else, but there's a note. And I'm a toffee lover. I love toffee. It's supposed to have like toffee. I kind of get that. There is just some, I think it's too much patchouli or something. There is something in the background that I do not like. I don't like it. This is a, I will never spray after this review again, unless I really have to. Next, lemon cake. Delicious, right? Lemon cake. Who doesn't like lemon cake? I love lemon scents. Let's this one love the opening it reminds me not of cake though so that's unfortunate to me because i would have liked this dense rich lemon cake right it's a gourmand collection i want that the opening i like it's like you squeezed fresh lemons to make your own lemonade in like icy lemonade and you added your own like sugar to it I get more like lemonade drink not too sour not too synthetic when it dries down though oh, I can't it's not bad it's not bad but it reminds me of when my sister and I used to go out you know to the bar and she'd be like let's have a shot of American honey it's just not good memories. I just can't do it. I can like taste it in my mouth when I smell it. No. Marshmallow Mist I thought would be the one that I would potentially want a full bottle of because the notes sound amazing. But something about it in the opening reminded me kind of of like Soiree, which or like some people have Nebras and says it's kind of similar the opening it does dry down and it's not quite that but to me it just really reminded me of it it's not like as sugary and it definitely is more like fluffy airy maybe kind of more like an orange marshmallow at the beginning i don't know i thought i would like this more i'm just I'm not that impressed with this one. It's, I might have to test it like one day just alone by itself when I have nothing else around me to really decide how I feel about it. Next one's Berry Bonbon. Now this one I actually do like. Again, I'm going to have to test this one on its own too. Like a day I'm not smelling a bunch of perfumes. Um, it kind of gave me like car air freshener vibes at first but not in a bad way like it smells good still it has like this berry though that kind of gives off like air freshener or like just like artificial berry but there's something about it I really like still and I don't know if it's because it kind of gives me like a clean berry scent almost like a shampoo kind of gives me like fresh berry shampoo um 
so I'm going to have to test this one out more because I don't hate it at all. I think it's good. But will I like wearing it for like a full day, for a full wear? I don't know. We'll see. It's interesting. Um, I don't get much else other than berry and clean though with this one on my skin. Last one we have Caramel Brew and this one is the one I got in a full size bottle. It does have, it's very caramel heavy. I think caramel skin. Um, I actually like for some reason it kind of reminded me of Skylar's um, Vanilla Sky. So I sprayed them side by side. They're not the same and just gave me a similarness to it. And that one, the other one, Skylar has a lot more like cashmere type feel to it, more sandalwood maybe. This one is less woody, more kind of salted caramel, more deep, more gourmand. So the top skin for me, vanilla and gelato, I, that's probably on my watch list for full size bottle. Um, if I didn't already have caramel brew, I'd probably go ahead and get it, um, I don't have anything exactly like this in my collection, especially if that's a perfume. And I don't know about Berry Bonbon yet. I have to try it more. I have to try it more. Marshmallow Mist, I'll give it a second chance, but I just... I'm not, I'm not that impressed with it, to be honest. I... I was hoping for more from these, so I'm a little disappointed, um, but tell me, did you guys get any of these, and what do you plan on getting if you do? I don't know. I think they did a good job. It's not bad, but I thought I would definitely need all of them, and I don't. 